All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode, most likely the last episode here of the 636 giveaway build. Today, got a lot in store for this bike. So guys, we'll start over here, left to right, break down what we're doing today. Got a lot of parts to install, um, but they all work together. So uh, let's get into it. First and foremost, we have the clip-ons, uh, the handlebars, some guys wanna call them, uh, supported by Converti bars today. Uh, these are super adjustable. I've been running clip-ons ever since I've been riding. I don't really dirt bike bar kind of guy. So we went with clip-ons and we went with Converti bars. Uh, nice blue to match the bike and to match with that we have uh front brake lines hand brake line and foot brake line all in matching blue supported by hel uh super thankful they sent those out and that's definitely a theme for today is all the matching blue now the majority of the parts here are all dedicated to one thing and that is the handbrake um so our bracket from ndc customs is going to be working in conjunction with not only our hel uh brake line but also our 13 millimeter Magura on a Hayabusa 250 uh, millimeter rotor. NDC also sends the bracket for that as well. And uh, super cool, out of left field, we will be installing uh, rear sets from NDC Customs as well. Super thankful that they partnered with this build. I was not planning on doing the rear sets. However, uh, I love these. I've ran them on my bike for years. I can honestly say they hold up to literally everything. And last but not least, and just as important, uh, we have an Elite Moto Tech clutch, the same color blue, you gotta love it. And uh, it definitely just accents and puts the cherry on top to all the awesome blue that we got going on with all these parts. So guys, we've got a busy day ahead of us. Let's go ahead and start with the clip-ons. So guys, once you get these Allens loosened up and your big 36 millimeter nut right in the middle, before you take your top cover off, make sure you start getting everything like your uh, ignition, your throttle, your front brake, your clutch lever, whatever else uh, accessories you have on your stack handlebars, make sure you loosen those up now. It's better to get all this stuff off when it's mounted on. So guys, as a lot as you guys know, these O3s came with choke cables, uh, not really needed, especially because they're fuel injected. The O3s came with them, the O4s didn't, because um, Kawasaki was like, okay, these are fuel injected, we don't really need them. So a lot of times I like to just get rid of them and in general, get rid of this whole control cluster.
uh, running the handbrake line, pretty easy there. Make sure it's all out of the way. Make sure it's, uh, you know, tucked away nice. That's pretty much the biggest thing. You don't want it in any pinch points. Make sure that it's not gonna get caught in between um, your forks and your frame and get uh, a, lot, or a hole in it from getting pinched so much. So make sure it looks good, make sure it looks clean. That's pretty much your biggest, uh, biggest worry with running lines, making sure that uh, they're not gonna get pinched anywhere. Simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monono recording. So guys, NEC is cool enough to supply these. These are like spacers that go um, in between your caliper and the actual bracket. Cause there's so many different calipers that you can run. Um, I'm gonna run this R6 for my handbrake. NEC is cool enough that uh, we got these little spacers already ready to go. So guys, now we got our handbrake on. Um, we're gonna go ahead, NDC makes these little brackets. I just kind of figured it all out. Um, it comes with the kit, goes right in there. Boom, now you can run your stock uh, 636 foot brake, 0304 foot brake, um, and it'll, it'll all mount up. Now guys, when you're over here bleeding this, um, this is pretty notorious, the uh, handbrake uh, bleeder screws on the Maguras for stripping. Uh, because it's so small, it's a six millimeter. It's like the smallest wrench I own. Um, you really don't want to over torque this. You barely want to tighten it down uh, when you're bleeding it. 
So don't really yank down on it or else it's gonna strip. Uh, it happens all the time on these, so take your time. All right, guys, so I just got back from testing out the rear brakes, uh, the foot brake and the handbrake. Feel great. Of course, I hadn't really ridden the bike since a lot of these mods have been done. So I was really excited to feel how it felt. First things first, I gotta give a special shout out to all these companies that help support this build. Um, without them, the stunt game wouldn't be where it is. And on top of that, this bike wouldn't be half as nice as it is. So Stunt Sprockets, HEL, NDC, Fornarelli Motorsports, Cox Stunt Parts, Elite Moto Tech, The Six Shop, and Converti Bars. I wanna thank you guys all from the bottom of my heart. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure the winner of this bike is really gonna thank you from the bottom of their heart because this bike has turned into something really special. Now guys, this is your last chance to get entered into this uh, giveaway here. Uh, the first week of February is when I'm gonna draw the winner live on YouTube Live here. And every dollar that you're pledged over on my Patreon is one last entry to get in on this. So the last little bit of payments will get processed uh, the last week of January there. And then after that, it's over. Um, somebody is gonna get really lucky and somebody is gonna have an absolutely amazing dream bike. Uh, like I was saying, it, it really has become something pretty special. Uh, it's something that you don't get to see much. You know, a, a bike this this old, uh, this rare, in this kind of form with a full stunt build on some of the top end parts that, uh, that we could use. So guys, if you're not already entered, make sure you do. I know I'm kind of a gambling man. I'll get on, on raffles and stuff like that, but this is definitely something pretty cool and special because uh, I feel like we built this bike together along the way with the help of some really important companies.